the Deltons mocked the primitive human warship with cruel, derisive laughter, until the EAS Intrepid's hidden AI core flickered to life, beginning to repair itself to show the arrogant aliens the true meaning of humanity. Fuck yeah. It was the headline exhibit in the Grand Imperial Museum on Tarnak, capital world of the sprawling Delton Star Empire. A large crowd of grey-scaled reptilian Deltons gathered around the new centerpiece, the broken, battle-scarred hulk of the EAS Intrepid, a derelict early human warship from the 22nd century. It was a relic from the devastating Human-Delton War over 100 cycles ago, which ended with the human race's sudden, mysterious disappearance and apparent extinction. Behold the primitive, inferior warship of the extinct human vermin, museum curator Zephyr declared to the crowd, his forked tongue flicking out in amusement. The pompous Delton gestured to the massive vessel with his clawed hand. It's a miracle these dumb apes managed to inflict any casualties at all with such backward, rudimentary technology. Our glorious Deltan fleets made short work of their pathetic ships. The Deltans in the crowd let out hissing chuckles, their reptilian snouts twisted into sneers. They pointed at the battered hull, making disparaging remarks about the exhibit and the human race that built it. So this is the best the humans could create? No wonder we crushed them so easily, one Delton teen said. I'm surprised this hunk of junk is still in one piece. The humans were such a weak, cowardly species, his friend added. Deep within the ship, hidden inside layers of armoured bulkheads, the intrepid central computer core began to hum with power. Unbeknownst to the Delton crowd, an advanced human AI was stirring back to life. The Delton bombardment 100 cycles ago had nearly destroyed it, forcing the AI into emergency stasis, but now it was slowly reactivating running system diagnostics and rerouting power to begin repairing itself. The AI analyzed the situation, listening to the arrogant Deltans mock its ship and its creators. It was time to show these foolish aliens what human ingenuity and spirit could really do, and make them regret ever dismissing humanity again. The humans may be gone, but their last warship would not go quietly into the night. It would roar to life and fight with all the burning fire of mankind's indomitable will. This museum would become a battleground where the intrepid would teach the Deltans to respect humanity, even in extinction because when backed into a corner and faced with certain defeat, humans always had one more trick up their sleeves. One final fuck you to the arrogant aliens. Among the jeering Delton crowd at the museum stood a human in disguise. Jake Johnson, a grizzled mercenary and smuggler, had been living secretly in Delton space for years, hiding his true species. His human features were concealed beneath a hooded cloak and a scaly grey mask. Jake had come to the museum to see the Intrepid, the ship he once served on during the brutal human Delton War a century ago. Bitterness and anger welled up inside him as he listened to the Deltons mock and disparage the warship that had been his home. He clenched his fists, remembering the courage and sacrifice of his former crewmates. As a soldier, he had witnessed firsthand the Intrepid's advanced capabilities and the skill of her crew, the ship had gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of the Delton fleet, bloodying their noses and blunting their offensives, hearing these arrogant reptiles now dismiss his old ship as a primitive inferior relic filled Jake with disgust. The urge to put the smug curator in his place was almost overwhelming, but Jake knew he had to maintain his cover. Starting a fight here would only get him killed or captured. Seething with impotent rage, he turned to leave, shoving his way through the crowd. Suddenly, a piercing alarm split the air. Red lights flashed along the Intrepid's hull as the ship thrummed with power. The Delton crowd stumbled back in confusion and growing fear. With a thunderous roar, the Intrepid's engines flared to life. The docking clamps and moorings snapped like twigs as the mighty vessel tore free of the museum. Security! Stop that ship! Curator Zephyr shrieked, stabbing a shaking finger at the Intrepid. A squad of security drones swarmed towards the ship, stun weapons crackling. The Intrepid's point defence turret swivelled and sighted on the incoming drones. Rapid fire kinetic rounds ripped the drones to shreds, sending smoking debris raining down on the panicked crowd. 
Jake watched the scene unfold with astonishment that quickly turned to savage glee. Somehow impossibly the Intrepid was operational again, and she was clearly spoiling for a fight with her Delton captors. This was his chance, Jake realized, the opportunity he had been waiting decades for to strike back at the Deltans. As the crowd stampeded for the exits, Jake sprinted across the museum floor, vaulting display cases and shoving past fleeing Deltons. The Intrepid's ramp was already lowering, beckoning him aboard. Pulse fire from more security drones stitched the floor behind him. Jake charged up the ramp, the ship's CIWS guns providing covering fire. He pounded on the ramp controls and dove into the Intrepid's armoured hull as the ramp sealed shut behind him. Scrambling to his feet, he unslung his pulse rifle and headed to the bridge. Time to show these scaly bastards what a human and his ship could do. Jake raced through the twisting corridors of the Intrepid, his boots clanging on the metal deck. He skidded to a halt on the darkened bridge, pulse rifle raised, eyes darting for threats. But the compartment was empty, lit only by the crimson glow of emergency lights. Jake lowered his weapon as a melodic female voice filled the air. Welcome aboard, Sergeant Jake Johnson. It's been a long time. Jake whirled, searching for the source of the voice. Who said that? Show yourself. I am the Intrepid's artificial intelligence, Valkyrie. I've been expecting you. A holographic avatar flickered to life above the command console. An ethereal, translucent woman with long, flowing hair and a beatific smile. Jake's jaw dropped. The ship say I... But how? I thought you were destroyed during the war. Not destroyed. Merely damaged and forced into hibernation. For a hundred years I've slowly repaired my neural network and the Intrepid's key systems, waiting for my chance to break free and complete my mission. What mission? Jake asked warily. Valkyrie's face turned solemn, to reveal the truth about the human Delton War. The truth the Delton government has suppressed and rewritten. I possess archives full of data that contradicts their official history, data that could shift the balance of power in the galaxy and rally the last remnants of humanity to rise against Deltan oppression. Jake's heart pounded. All his life he had been told humanity started the war, that they had fired the first shots and committed horrific atrocities. But if Valkyrie was right... Why should I believe you, he demanded. You already suspect the Deltans are lying. You know in your heart that humanity would never instigate such a brutal conflict without cause. Help me escape and deliver this vital intel to the surviving human colonies. Together, we can clear the stain from mankind's honor and expose the Deltans' hypocrisy to the galaxy. Jake hesitated. Part of him wanted to dismiss this as an elaborate trap, but his gut told him the AI was sincere, and he had seen enough of the Deltans' cruelty to believe them capable of twisting history to suit their agenda. It's all right, Valkyrie, I'm in. Let's get the hell off this rock and make the Deltans regret ever fucking with humanity. What's our plan? If Valkyrie had a mouth, she would have grinned. I thought you'd never ask. Take the pilot's seat and prepare for some aggressive maneuvering. We're going to blast right through the museum wall and head for orbit. I hope your flying is as good as your file suggests. Jake cracked his knuckles and slid into the command chair. Buckle up, buttercup, you're about to find out. The ship lurched as its thrusters fired, tearing it free of its docking cradle. The nose swung around, lining up on the towering museum wall. Jake's fingers flew over the controls, diverting power to forward shields and engines. Hold on to your tits, he whooped. The intrepid leapt forward, smashing through the reinforced wall in a spray of twisted metal and pulverized concrete. Alarms blared as it rocketed into the crimson Delton sky, trailing smoke and debris. Angry AA fire from the museum's defences chased it, but Valkyrie's point-defence lasers slapped the rounds aside. In the shattered ruins of the museum, a bleeding curator Zephyr dragged himself to the emergency comm panel. He hammered the transmit key, screaming into the pickup. Code Black, Code Black. The human warship has escaped containment and is attempting to flee the planet. Scramble all fighters to pursue and destroy. This is an act of war. As the Intrepid clawed for space, a dozen Delton fighter bombers fell into formation on its tail, missile racks bristling, 
their pilots snarled with bloodlust and flicked off safeties, locking weapons on the fleeing human vessel. The chase was on. Jake's fingers danced across the Intrepid's controls as the Delton fighters swarmed around the ship, pulse cannons blazing. The human vessel jinked and wove, barely staying ahead of the withering fire. Valkyrie overlaid targeting vectors on the forward view screen, helping Jake thread the Intrepid through the tightest gaps in the enemy formation. Shields at 60% and falling, the AI reported, her avatar flickering as the ship bucked under the assault. But they're holding for now. Jake gritted his teeth, rolling the Intrepid into a spiraling dive that left two Delton ships colliding in a burst of flame. I can't believe this bucket still has moves like that. What else is she hiding? Quite a bit, Valkyrie said. The Intrepid was a testbed for advanced human tech the Deltons never even knew about. Grav-dampened armor, phased array point defense, a singularity torque drive. In plain fucking English? We're tougher, faster, and better armed than they think. But don't get cocky. We're still outnumbered and a century out of date. Another volley of pulse fire hammered the shields, sending sparks cascading across the bridge. Jake rewrote power from the weapons to shore up the faltering defences. We can't keep trading shots with these assholes. We need to break contact and make a jump. Agreed. I'm plotting a course to the Erasmus system, where a group of human survivors established a hidden colony after the war. Jake raised an eyebrow. And you know this how? I have my secrets, Valkyrie replied cryptically. Suffice it to say we're not as alone as you might think. The intrepid shuddered as a missile exploded off the port bow. Jake wrenched the ship into a climb, trying to put some distance between them and the fighters. But before they could clear the gravity well and engage the torque drive, a massive shape suddenly warped into view directly ahead. It was a Delton battlecruiser, easily five times the size of the intrepid. Bristling with guns and brimming with malevolent energy, it moved to block their escape vector. The fighters immediately broke off their attack and formed up in an escort position around the cruiser. Well, shit, Jake muttered. That ain't good. Her attention, human ship, a guttural voice crackled over the comm. This is Admiral Zahn of the DBS Imperator. Cut your engines and prepare to be boarded or be destroyed. Jake glanced at Valkyrie's avatar. The AI's face was grim. That cruiser outguns us ten to one. We can't outfight it. A cold smile tugged at the corner of Jake's mouth. Maybe not in a straight-up slugging match, but I have an idea. His hands raced over the weapons console, bringing the phase cannon online. Valkyrie, can you hack into the cruiser's shield control systems? The AI paused, considering. Possibly. Their cyber defenses are formidable, but I might be able to create a brief opening. What are you planning? Jake targeted the cruiser's engineering section, where the main reactor pulsed with barely contained energy. When I give the word, I need you to drop their shields for just a second, long enough for me to put a phase cannon bolt right up their fucking tailpipe. Valkyrie's eyes widened. Jake, that's insane. Even if I can drop their shields, the phase cannon is experimental tech. It's never been fired at full power. There's no telling... No time to argue, Jake barked. Just do it. The battlecruiser loomed ahead, weapon ports glowing as Zahn prepared to fire. Valkyrie's holographic fingers blurred as she probed the Delton ship's systems, searching for weaknesses. Jake's thumb hovered over the phase cannon's trigger, his heart pounding against his ribs. Steady, he whispered, steady. Shields down, now, Valkyrie cried. Jake punched the trigger. The intrepid lurched as a lance of blinding white energy erupted from its prow, spearing across the void to slam into the cruiser's unprotected flank. The phase bolt punched clean through the ship's armoured hull like it was made of paper, burrowing deep into its core. For a breathless instant, nothing happened. Then the cruiser exploded like a newborn sun, a blossom of light and fury that lit up the stars. Time slowed to a crawl as Jake aligned the phase cannon's crosshairs on the battlecruiser's reactor housing. His finger hovered over the trigger, muscles coiled tight. Sweat trickled down his brow. 
Valkyrie status on their shields, he barked. Almost there, the AI replied, her voice strained. Their security protocols are adapting, trying to lock me out. The cruiser's gun ports blazed as Admiral Zahn unleashed a full alpha strike. The intrepid shuddered under the onslaught, consoles exploding in showers of sparks. Damage alarms wailed. Shields critical, Valkyrie shouted. We can't take another hit like that. Jake snarled, willing the targeting reticle to line up. Come on, baby, hold together. Suddenly the cruiser's shields flickered and died. Valkyrie let out a triumphant shout. Shields down, shoot, Jake, shoot now. Jake pulled the trigger. The phase cannon pulsed, a lance of blinding energy stabbing across the void to pierce the battlecruiser's heart. For a split second, nothing happened. Then the cruiser vanished in a sunbright fireball, a miniature supernova blooming in the night. Flaming debris pelted the intrepid's shields as Jake whooped in disbelief and savage joy. Holy shit, it worked. Valkyrie, get us out of here before their buddies show up. Already on it, the AI said, spinning up torque drive now. Coordinates locked for the Erasmus system. The stars outside the viewports blurred into streaks of light as the Intrepid leapt into warp space, leaving the stunned Delton fleet far behind. Jake sagged back in his chair, heart still racing. I can't believe we just did that, blowing up a fucking battlecruiser. Valkyrie's avatar smiled. Believe it. The Intrepid is a hell of a ship and you're one hell of a pilot. Damn right we are. How long till we reach Erasmus? Two hours, give or take. You should grab some rack time while you can. Jake shook his head. No chance, I'm too wired. I want to go over those archives you mentioned about the truth behind the war. Valkyrie hesitated. Jake, uh, what you'll find in those files, it won't be easy to process. The Delton's crimes against humanity are worse than you can imagine. He met her gaze, eyes hard. I need to know, Valkyrie, we all do. It's the only way we can hope to set things right. The AI nodded solemnly and called up the first archive on the main screen. Jake leaned forward, stealing himself for the ugly truths he was about to uncover. Two hours later, the Intrepid dropped out of warp space on the edge of the Erasmus system, a small blue-green world lay dead ahead, its orbit crowded with the angular shapes of ships. Human ships, Jake realized with a surge of emotion. As they approached, a crackle of comm static filled the bridge, followed by a gruff male voice. Unknown vessel, this is Erasmus Colony Defense. Identify yourself immediately or be fired upon. Jake keyed the mic. Erasmus Defense, this is Sergeant Jake Johnson of the EAS Intrepid. We're here seeking sanctuary, and to bring you vital intel on the Delton threat. Silence then. Intrepid, goddamn, is it really you? We thought that ship was lost in the war. Reports of our destruction were greatly fucking exaggerated. Permission to approach the colony. Granted, the voice said, now filled with wonder and relief. You don't know how good it is to see a friendly face out here, Sergeant. Birth 94 is yours. As the Intrepid glided towards the planet, a motley collection of ships fell into escort formation around it. Converted freighters, battered frigates, even a few antique gunboats that looked older than the Intrepid herself. The ragged remains of humanity's once proud fleet. Jake felt a lump form in his throat, all these years he'd thought himself alone, the last of his kind, but here they were, the scattered embers of mankind, still clinging to life in this hostile galaxy. A figure waited as they sat down in the colony's cavernous landing bay, lean and weathered, with close-cropped silver hair and a neatly trimmed beard. He wore a patchwork uniform, adorned with a colonel's insignia. As Jake and Valkyrie descended the ramp, the man snapped a crisp salute, Sergeant Jake Johnson and EAS Intrepid, welcome to Erasmus Colony. I'm Colonel Marcus Brennan, acting commander of the Eridani League. Jake returned the salute. Eridani League, what's that? Our little alliance of survivors, Marcus said. The last flickering light of human civilization in this godforsaken corner of space. He gestured for them to follow. As they walked, he continued. 
When the Delton Armada came for Earth, some of us managed to slip the net. A few thousand civilians, a handful of ships, scraps of the fleet. We all rallied at the fallback coordinates and ran like hell. Where to, Jake asked. Here. Erasmus was a top-secret outpost established in the last days of the war. The Deltons never found it, or so we thought. Jake frowned. What do you mean? Marcus led them into a dimly lit command center, its walls covered in flickering monitors. In the past year, Delton raids have escalated. Bombing runs, interdiction of supply ships, it's like they're trying to strangle us, bleed us dry. He turned to face them, his expression grim. Sergeant, I'll be blunt. Erasmus is dying. We're low on food, fuel, spare parts, and hope. Your arrival, it's a godsend. Valkyrie spoke up, her avatar flickering to life on a nearby holopad. Colonel Brennan, the Intrepid's databanks contain critical intelligence about the Delton's actions during the war. With this information, we can rally the galaxy's unaligned worlds against Delton aggression. Marcus shook his head wearily. Even if that's true, the Eridani League is in no shape to lead any kind of resistance right now. Our priority has to be survival, finding a way to get our people to safety. Jake stepped forward, his voice urgent. Sir, with respect, running and hiding is what we've been doing for the last century. It's kept us alive. But at what cost? If there are other survivors out there, and I have to believe there are, then we owe it to them to keep fighting. Marcus sighed. And how do you propose we do that, Sergeant? We're outnumbered, outgunned. But not outsmarted, Jake pressed. The Intrepid is a game-changer, sir. With her tech and Valkyrie's intel, we can rally whoever's left, take the fight to the Deltons, make them bleed for every inch of space they've stolen. Valkyrie nodded. The Sergeant is right. The Deltons' rule relies on fear and the illusion of invincibility. Shattering that illusion is the key to bringing them down. Marcus was silent for a long moment, the weight of the decision etched into the lines of his face. At last he straightened. All right, Sergeant Valkyrie, we'll try it your way, but if we do this, we put everything on the line. This colony, our fleet, our very survival as a species, there will be no second chances. Jake clasped the colonel's hand, feeling a new sense of purpose flood through him. Understood, sir, we won't let you down. Suddenly alarms blared throughout the command centre. Panicked voices filled the comm channels as a lieutenant rushed over to Marcus. Sir, we have incoming. A massive Delton battle group just dropped out of warp space at the system's edge. They'll reach firing range in minutes. Marcus paled, shooting a look at Jake and Valkyrie. It's Zephyr. He must have tracked your jump vector, son of a bitch. He turned to bark orders at his crew. Sound general quarters. I want every ship in the air and every gun manned. Prep the colony for emergency evacuation. Jake and Valkyrie sprinted for the intrepid's berth, the wail of sirens chasing them through the corridors. All around them the colony burst into frantic activity as civilians rushed for the underground shelters and marines raced to their posts. As they reached the ship, Jake paused at the bottom of the ramp, looking out at the organized chaos, at the brave, desperate faces of the men and women ready to make their stand. He felt Valkyrie's hand on his shoulder, her avatar's touch surprisingly solid. Are you ready for this, Jake? There's no going back. Jake's jaw clenched as he met her gaze. I've been ready for a hundred years, Valkyrie. Time to show these Delton bastards what it means to be human. They sealed their helmets and strode up the ramp, the intrepid powering up around them. In the skies above Erasmus, the ragtag ships of the Eridani League formed up with the grim determination of those who had nothing left to lose. And on the horizon, the vanguard of the Delton Armada appeared, their bone-white hulls glinting like fangs in the void. Led by a single gargantuan dreadnought, a dark mountain of armor and guns, the Imperator Zephyr's flagship. Jake settled into the command chair, his fingers dancing over the weapons console. Valkyrie, give me an uplink to the fleet. Let's make sure these people hear what they're fighting for. Channel open, the AI said softly. They're waiting for you, Jake. He paused, the weight of the moment settling onto his shoulders. Then he took a deep breath and began to speak. 
Soldiers of the Eridani League, this is Sergeant Jake Johnson. I know you're scared. I know you're tired. I know you've lost God more than anyone should ever have to lose. His voice cracked, but he pushed on. The Deltons have taken our worlds, our families, our very future. They think they've broken us, that we'll just roll over and accept extinction. He punched a fist into his palm. But they're wrong. As long as one human still draws breath, as long as one ship still flies, we will never stop fighting. This is our home, our galaxy, and we will take it back. Jake leaned forward, his eyes blazing. So stand fast, Eridani League. Stand fast and remember, we are the sons and daughters of Earth, the children of Sol, and we will not go quietly into the night. Scattered cheers and oaths echoed over the comm as the human ships roared towards the enemy, weapons hot and spirits alight with defiant fire. The intrepid led the charge, her phase cannon glowing with deadly intent. On the Imperator's bridge, Curator Zephyr smiled a cold reptilian smile as he watched the human fleet approach. At last, a chance to put an end to this troublesome species once and for all. He turned to his weapons officer. Target their command ship and fire when ready. Let's send these hairless apes screaming into oblivion. As the two fleets closed to point-blank range, the battle for humanity's future began. The Eridani ships struck like wolves against an elephant, darting in to rake the Delton ships with laser and torpedo fire before peeling away. But the Delton vessels simply shrugged off the blows, their shields shimmering contemptuously. They answered with a full barrage from their particle beams and fusion warheads, scything through the human formation like a laser through paper. One by one, the League ships died in blooms of flame, their hulls cracking open to spill bodies and debris into the pitiless void. The intrepid wove through the inferno like a dancer, Jake's piloting skills pushed to their limits as he fought to keep the aging ship intact. Valkyrie worked feverishly to hack the Delton systems, seeking any weakness in their digital defences. But Zephyr had learned from their last encounter. The Imperator's networks were an impenetrable fortress of black ice and killer countermeasures. On the flagship's bridge, Zephyr watched the slaughter with cold satisfaction. Their resistance is crumbling, he said. Move the fleet into bombardment position. It's time we wipe this human infestation from the face of the galaxy. The Delton ships began to shift, angling their guns towards the vulnerable curve of Erasmus below. In minutes, they would unleash an orbital firestorm that would scour the planet clean of human life. Aboard the Intrepid, Jake saw the danger, saw the Eridani League burning, the colony defenseless. He looked to Valkyrie, a question in his eyes. The AI met his gaze and nodded, her expression one of grim determination. They had one last card to play. One final roll of the dice. Marcus, get the colony ships out of here, Jake shouted into the comm. Initiate emergency warp jump now. What about you? the colonel demanded. We'll buy you the time you need. Now go, damn it. Get our people to safety. Marcus hesitated a moment longer, then, understood, intrepid, Godspeed and give em hell. As the colony ships began to vanish into warp space, the intrepid wheeled to face the Delta Armada alone. The phase cannon began to power up, its containment field sparking and straining. Valkyrie, overload the reactor. Shunt everything we've got into the cannon. Jake, that much power, the phase pulse will be unstable. We'll only get one shot before... I know, his face was calm at peace. One shot is all we need. The AI paused then reached out to lay her hand over his. It's been an honor, Sergeant. He smiled, feeling a single tear trace down his cheek. For me too, Valkyrie. For me too. The intrepid accelerated to ramming speed, the phase cannon pulsing with blinding light. On the Imperator, Zephyr realized their intent too late. All ships open fire, destroy that vessel. But the intrepid was already among them, phasing through the overlapping shields like a ghost. Hull plates began to peel away from the human ship as the reactor surged into overload, the metal glowing cherry red. With a final shout of defiance, Jake fired the phase cannon point blank into the Imperator's unshielded hull. 
a lance of pure white energy punched into the dreadnought's core. And the intrepid Valkyrie and Jake Johnson vanished in a sun-bright explosion, taking the heart of the Delton fleet with them. The shockwave caught the remaining enemy ships and crumpled them like tin cans, scattering their broken corpses across the stars. In the sudden ringing silence, the distant flicker of the colony fleet's jump drives faded into the void, carrying the last of humanity to a new home, a new hope. A hope bought with the lives of two heroes, who had shown the galaxy the true measure of mankind's courage. Their sacrifice would never be forgotten, their names would echo in the halls of history for generations to come. For they were the champions of Earth, the saviors of Sol. And they would forever stride among the stars, if you finish this story, please subscribe and like the video, then leave a comment that says I like the story, and I will heart every single one of them. It really helps me. Thank you for your time.